What's going on guys? Short with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about how I stay warm when I hit the trails when I'm camping in all elements. Before I get started I do want to thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you're new to the channel and you're visiting do me a favor consider subscribing. I do post weekly videos on DIYs, installs, adventure videos, fishing videos that's including catch and cooks. So Definitely, if you like this type of content, consider smashing that subscribe button. And also, check out this pretty cool shirt I'm wearing. This was actually sent by one of my subscribers. His name is Monte. If you're watching this, Monte, thank you very much, man. I love this shirt. This guy is a great outdoors man. So big shout out to you, Monte. Thank you so much. So let's talk a little bit about this Mr. Buddy Heater and why I went this route when it comes down to portable heaters. Uh, this heater was actually recommended by one of my good friends, Drew. Uh, he has a YouTube channel under Vilmont HQ. I'll be posting his information down below if you guys want to check out his channel. He is building a 4Runner and a Subaru STI, so pretty cool stuff. But yeah, anyways, he's the one that recommended this Mr. Buddy heater and uh, it works great. I'm telling you guys, the first time I used it, we were out in Big Bear and it was really cold. It was like 25 or so. And uh, if it wasn't for this Mr. Buddy Heater, we would have like froze to death. Uh, the second time I used it, we were out in Mammoth, uh, super cold, it was snowing, crazy blizzard, you know, weather. And uh, uh, Mr. Buddy Heater definitely kept everybody warm. When it comes down to affordability, these things cost about $80 on Amazon. This is probably one of the cheapest accessories that I purchased when it comes down to functionality. Uh, this thing it definitely comes in handy whether I'm here at home and I don't want to turn on our main uh, Heater in the house. I can definitely just bring this into my room turn it on and it heats up the whole room And not only that but when I'm camping and I'm inside my CVT tent Put this little buddy heater you can put it on low or you can put it on high depending on how cold you are And you can sleep pretty toasty in your undies or even naked if you want <laughs> <laughs> the only addition that you do have to purchase to make this buddy heater work is obviously propane. I use the 16 ounce Coleman uh, propane tanks. These are one time use, but honestly guys, these things last a long time. I use these not only for the Mr. Buddy heater, but I also use it for my stove. What I do recommend is if you're gonna take a weekend trip or a long trip, make sure you buy a couple of these bad boys because last thing you want to do is run out of heat in the middle of the night. So I'm going to be demonstrating how easy it is and how safe it is to use a Mr. Buddy heater. All right, so I'm going to be demonstrating how easy it is to use this Mr. Buddy heater. So all we're going to be doing is screwing the propane tank into the small insert on the side. Best thing about it is that it does sit flush. So here on the side, you will have three different options other than the off position. You do have the pilot, which actually ignites the small little engager here at the bottom. And then you also have a low and a high. So all we're gonna be doing is twisting it to the pilot position. We're gonna be pushing down. And as you can see here, the pilot is actually on. After it's on, all we're gonna be doing is turning it to the low position and it should turn it right on. That is the low position and also you can turn it all the way, put it into the high position. So another big reason why I chose to go with this Mr. Buddy heater was safety. This thing is super easy to use and super safe to use. As you can see here right now it is on and let's say you're inside your tent or inside your room and you hit it accidentally or a cat knocks it over. As you can see if it gets tilted, it automatically shuts it off. It does have a small sensor inside, so if it tilts over for any reason, obviously it does shut off. So I'm gonna show you guys again. That way you guys can see how consistent and how safe this is to use. So right now the igniter is on. I'm gonna go ahead and twist it to the low position, and I'm gonna tilt it over to its left. As you can see here, it did shut off. So when it comes down to safety, I know it's a big, big, big deal, especially when dealing with propane uh, and gas. The last thing you wanna do is not wake up in the morning because your heater leaked and uh, yeah, that'll be bad news. So I hope this video helped you guys when it comes down to choosing what type of 
portable heater you want to go with. Honestly, you guys, this thing has been a game changer for me. I've used it here at home. I use it out when I'm camping inside my tent, you name it. And uh, honestly, guys, nothing but good things to say about this portable heater. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, honestly, guys, I've been getting a lot of questions when it comes down to the different gear that I carry with me when I go camping or off-roading. If you guys haven't checked out my last two videos, I did talk about the importance of having recovery gear. And I also talked about a black box that I carry in my truck at all time that contains a lot of stuff that I use to go off-roading. So if you guys haven't checked out those videos, go and check them out. But like I said, this was just a quick video uh, focus on this Mr. Buddy Heater. I've gotten a lot of questions about it, so I figured why not make a video and not only help the people that ask the question, but help anybody else that is looking uh, to buy a portable heater. So as always, thank you guys so much for always watching. If you guys like this type of content, consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.